you're like the star of the show. I think nearly half of the episodes now. The show. <laughs> I'm going to get all of those three views. Yeah. I mean, you watch it, I watch it, and then I think there's probably one person who's watching who never says anything. I think they're part of China. We, we have a secret, a secret admirer. No, Chinese intelligence. The only people who watch us are like CSIS agents, FBI, CIA. <laughs> <laughs> they get bored really quick and then they just move on. We we've been red yeah. we've been red flag, but they 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 don't they don't think much of us. I don't think they're too worried. So what I did is deleted your account. What's that? Yeah, thanks. I reset everything so that we can start from scratch. Um, all I've done is set up the stuff in order to do this. What's that? I've, I've simply set up the website to be ready for the demo that we're going to do. Everything else is deleted. Okay. okay. And then you'll change that somehow afterwards? Like undelete it? No. No, no. no. Like we're, we're ready to start because then, okay. you know, once you send, once you create a platform, let's see all, then they can add their people and stuff. Oh, so we're starting from the real get go. And I'm starting it. Well, yeah, right. Are yeah, you? I guess. True. I don't know. All right. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll start it then. It's all good. You're gonna start it. <laughs> well, when things go wrong, we need someone to be the fall guy. So that could be you. And then when things go right, we need someone to claim all the credit, and that can be me. <laughs> Well, how do you like, like that? How do you like that one? You. Sounds like a pretty good deal for you. <laughs> Not so good for me. Well, this is just how things go. You know, you just got to buckle down and ride the wave and take what you get. Doesn't matter that you build the whole thing. Ah, <sighs> see. Interesting. <laughs> so, I think you work. Mobile rolls thing. Huh? What's that? Uh, multiple roles thing. Now people can be multiple people. Oh, very nice. So I believe I can... one person can even be the facilitator for two different groups if they really want. Oh, really? So I'm the super I administrator, so. the administrator, and the facilitator, and the participant. Should be able to be all of them. Very nice. That is progress. Yeah. I don't know about those glasses. You kind of have the Johnny Depp kind of look. You look, is this going to be your look for the next while? It's possible. It's possible. Aren't you appropriating those round glasses from John Lennon? <laughs> oh, I believe these were acquired in Kristen, uh, from the dollar store. So they appropriated them. I, I don't buy it. Them. I don't buy it. I don't like I did. it. I don't like I it. did. I do. And I did. <laughs> now, how come you can cut down my look that I created for years, creating this character that's well loved all across the planet? <clears throat> and you just come in with some little round glasses and do what you want and take over. Oh, I guess that's just the way it is. <sighs> <laughs> Every person who comes You're in. You're not even real. <laughs> Every person who comes into the very secret plan <coughs> always tries to take it over. It's just uh, human nature. It'll keep happening until at least one of us succeeds. So <coughs> there you go. Show me your plan. I'll show you my plan. That's going to be written out by grave. <laughs> well, People think they have a plan until they meet Captain Sweep. And then they find out that they don't. They have a little thing. They have a tiny thing, not the big thing. Yes, okay. Right? Uh, right, Shadow? That's right, Captain Sweep. You're in charge. <laughs> this guy's a bum. I don't like him at all. I don't like the red glasses. I don't like his look. I think he thinks he's so good being there in heaven. And he's nothing bad. He's nothing. Doesn't matter that he built the whole thing. Doesn't matter. 
<laughs> okay. Just heard from my shadow. I'll just turn into my gifts and cities right now. Change that and say, you know what? You're the best goddamn programmer in the world. I accept that. Or so you think you are. But I, I just sense that there's other people who might be a little bit ahead who can actually make a thing do this thing that we need it to do. Yeah. No? There are people who have more training and experience than me, but I am the best programmer in the world. Now, how do you, what are the parameters for that? Like, what, what how do you assess that you're the best? Because you're working, well, I'm in the center. The designer of the world, is that it? Because I'm the best, that you're kind of riding on my, my coattails? I, I can't be sure of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm quite sure I have it. <laughs> What exactly? <laughs> what exactly is it? Cannot be defined. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did build a game all by yourself. That is quite a good game, I must admit. Oh uh, yes, it's going live again on the twelfth. What thirteenth for you? How do you tell me these? Why do you tell me these things? I announced it in the Game of Planets Discord channel, and I tagged everyone so they would automatically get the message. <laughs> I thought we were working one for equinox two that we're going to do it in such a way that we get 100 people three we were going to talk about it yeah i got bored a couple people said we should reset so i said yes okay i'm done <laughs> jesus it's not as if we don't have enough things to fucking do that game took all my freaking time i like it, I like it better than my stuff and i was always playing your well, just stupid game <laughs> just remember it only takes a few minutes each day when it starts off it takes a while to get going and then we had freaking jab of the hut and then you wanted me to go to war and you were at war i wasn't ready for it. your <laughs> friend wanted me to go to war i wasn't ready for it but when i went to war i went to war you got way more involved in the game than i ever did i have to say that i like it so the 12th so what are the parameters of the game same as before just a restart what what is with you? I got another thing nothing I say. My whole game. No, but it's just. What about twenty five teams of four? No. No, no. I don't have time to to build a bunch of new stuff into it. I would like to, but not yet. Well, why do we get like we need a hundred people to start? That'd be cool. Well, I could put an ad on LinkedIn saying waiting for game testers. There you go. There you yeah, go. I think I will actually. There you go. And tell them this. Have them like put in like graphic designers, put all the other sub roles and say, if you like the game and you want to be on the team to make it better, this is how we're going to do it. And so the second round, anyone who's going to come in there is going to be part of the next team to upgrade it. And we can get a whole bunch of anim animators. F find yeah. people who fall in love with the game who want to make it you know, better. This is it, man. This is it. And of course, all your time is going to go away from my stuff to your stuff, son of a bitch. And we're well, have, I mean, hopefully here it all we'll goes well. And uh, we don't have to, I don't have to do much anymore for, for Planetary Guardians. And, you know, we'll get we'll get a project manager on it. And it'll just be like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Well, because once, I mean, we got to finish this now and get it to Lysiel. They're going to start using it. And after, you know, and we should, we should test it one week ahead, you know, keep a, a week ahead of them for now. But I mean, once that's all done and it's, it's working after seven weeks, we don't have a lot more to do on this particular chat stream technology because it needs to be finished and done at that point. Because I mean, they've already gone through the seven things. If they, hopefully it should work all. They're going to want to do it. They're going to want to do it every week though. That's fine. It doesn't matter. It's just a copy. Okay. Right. Like once it works, it works. Right. I don't have to keep programming it over and over again. Right. So once yeah. we start using it a week ahead, they use it after we, get, we build on the mechanics for the next seven weeks. After seven weeks, it's done, done. And then we can offer it to other organizations and stuff. And it pretty much runs itself it's with the project manager and perhaps a business manager to make sure that it can br bring us in some money so that it just keeps going and we hire people to, to you know, build up. Don't you worry about That's that. That's my dream. Don't my you dream, 
Don't you worry about that, Sonny. <laughs> I got this mapped out. Okay, cool. 144,000. We're going big. We're going like big, big. Well, big. Could be. Could 144,000 be. within, let's say within two years. That's not very good. No? Why not? No, 144,000 within six months. Jesus, fuck, man. What are you fucking talking oh, about? I mean, you had, years. Oh, you had 50 know. people playing your game and you couldn't keep up. How are we going to keep up to 144,000 people? That's the point. This system runs itself. We don't have to do anything. Oh, it runs itself, does it? <laughs> That's right. Once it's up, it will. It's like a tool, right? Hopefully. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Because it, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, seven part series that i have like mapped out already for the missions like other missions like the big missions well i don't know much about all the rest of your ideas <laughs> Are you... oh, fuck. no i don't i don't i have my own ideas you know and uh, i'm sure together we're going to collaborate and create some awesome stuff but it has to start with this one and it has to finish we got to finish this one first very true very true then we can Connect to other stuff, build more things, you know. I think this is the most important right now, for sure. Thank you. Thank just you for recognizing that. that. Huh? Yeah, just because we got these people, they're going to do it, and, and you know, that's, that's our ticket, I think, for sure. For sure. Actually, this seems to be well-planned. Looks like everything's coming together quite well. Yep, right on time, on schedule, easy, no problems. <laughs> I like it. That's the way it should be. Yep, it only took me shouting at you every week for uh, about seven weeks until finally the deadline was coming and you said, fuck, I've got to do it or else he's going to kill me. And I did have a hitman that did help out having a little bit of the thugs. I always think that we need some thugs around. All the movies talk about, you know, this is how you get things done. You have these brutes that everyone's afraid of and the, 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 <laughs> evil, the evil leader, if, if things go wrong, sends the thugs to deal with the problems. Right. Oh yeah, we're building a paradigm yeah, business model. For we're, sure, we're we're building a paradigm of love through the paradigm of fear, just like that connection you're talking about. Like we're right in there, right in there, <laughs> and then. Oh, no, no, no! Don't, Isn't don't that what you're me meaning? Your crazy evil ideas. <laughs> Is that what you're meaning? No. To build up this big force of thugs that scare the shit out of everyone inside Plantagarians and outside. Negative. Okay. Negative, sir. <laughs> Don't move in yet. Don't move in yet. Because I, I think what they always do is they, they paint the opposite. They always uh, they infiltrate. They, they try to bring you down. It's going to be funny when they send in their infiltrators against us because they, they have no idea how to deal with people like us. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Huh? I think we'll be fine. I know. I don't think anyone's going to bother us. I think it's it's better that way. You don't think people are going to bother us? Yeah. We have a mission-based methodology to bring humans together on teams to start to do good things. Yeah, that's a good thing. No one's going to fight that. Most good things get attacked these days. Yeah. Look at that, cryptos. Huh? The cryptocurrency. The banks don't even bother them. They don't care. Could be true. Could be true. Well, we do have a very good thing to help everyone get organized. So I think we'll be fine, as you say. Yeah. If nothing else, we can set up a few teams to you know deal with the PR. We're gonna need a lot of teams. <laughs> We're cool. We can build the system to a team of teams, so it should be easy. Oh, the team of teams. That team. What's that team called again? Planetary Guardians. No, that other team. The secret team. The team at the top. Of oh. the five. No, no. I keep telling you, there is no team at the top. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no top. There's only two people. <laughs> One of us is the. Someone's at the. Who's at the? Who's at the? Someone. Someone. Oh shit. <laughs> I hope people realize that I have a very good sense of humor that in a lot of things I'm saying, I'm joking, but it seems like I'm not. 
just in case uh, the courts try to use this footage. Like it's a comedy show, right? A comedy show means somebody's got to be kind of like a little bit crazy, like Captain Sweet. Someone has to be even crazier, but hides it. Um, on my screen, he's actually over there. So that's a weird thing to do. Oh, so that doesn't do it? On my screen. Well, you're you're pointing off the, the screen on my screen, but I don't oh. know where it's going to end up on the recording. So this is weird for me. Should I, should I move my my? How about that? Did you see it? I moved myself over that way. Did you? Now you're over here. Not on my screen. Oh, good. Okay. So what do you think of this one? I like it. Yeah. Doesn't this have like a 1970s game show slash Star Trek sort of galactic? Yes. Uh, Definitely reminds me of a combination of a game show and Star Trek. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, maybe I'm going to need maybe this. It depends, eh? Like. More Canadian, sort of fit in with the Canadians. <laughs> I like it. Because we're, we're going to have a. Someone in every country in the world, eh? We're gonna have a lot of planetary. Well, planetary we already do. I know. It's amazing. Technically, we have we have almost seven billion people now on the team. It's just some of them don't know it. That's true. That's true. Okay, so what do we got to get done? Uh, you think we should make a demo for Lysiel facilitators? Okay, let's right, do. Let's that. try it again. Okay. So just before we start. Uh, so during the demo, I'm going to add you to the group and you're just going to be able to log in as soon as I click that button. So then you go ahead and log in while we're talking. And then once I go into the chat room, you're already there. Okay. Or actually maybe log in, but then don't click into the chat room yet until after I do. And I say the thing about the being grayed out and then click the button and boom, now you're going to light up like color to show them that, oh, Captain Sweep has entered. Uh, Captain chat. Sweep? <laughs> Swine. Captain Sweep. Captain Sweep. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, other than that, I think, it's, uh, I think it's all ready. We could start whenever you wish. Did you ever, did, was that show, um, the Space Ghost, Space Ghost? Have you seen Space no. Ghost? He's a, he's a space ghost from the 50s who's a cartoon character, and he's a superhero. He, he's got a death ray. He can fly. He's, he's very strong. He's very kind of arrogant, though, and he doesn't like many people, and they piss him off, and he becomes a talk show host for humans. He has a television show. Uh, you told me about this. Yeah, yeah, where you see the human, and everything else is cartoon, and his two, his sound man and his, and his uh, the, the mixer sound guy and the music guy are his two arch enemies moltar who's is a machine robot killer is now his is, is in his studio in the sound room and i don't remember it was an insect a praying mantis insect who's his who's the music guy now but they both hate him and so when he's doing his show they're always fucking with him and he's trying to put on the show and again these two old arch enemies are now his two main guys in his show so I think that's perfect for humor. So I'm, I'm thinking of a show kind of along the same way where I, I do interviews, at, but, but I'm, I'm sort of very irritated with people and, and might get into a fight with the people I'm interviewing. So I think people, uh, people like that. They want that. They want some conflict. I think uh, you like it. And that's why yeah. you're yeah. <laughs> let's get real. <laughs> well, I got to tell you that, you know, when I was in the march, I started shouting at the police and it got my energy up. And we, I got into a duel in front of a crowd where the cop made a mistake and something in me just went off. And it was just like, I've been preparing for this moment a long time, my friend. And now here I am. And uh, I tell you, it was fun. It was fun. And the cop at the beginning, he thought he had me. He was using his intimidation and he was kind of like, oh, wow, oh, wow. And then all of a sudden, boom, I went into crazy shout mode. And the whole crowd was listening as I was 
dueling with this police officer. That is what this is about, my friend. Holding the line in the sand, knowing where the line in the sand is and empowering people to take their sovereignty, claim it, not be intimidated by the police and have power behind them. Well, I think ultimately we've, uh, we've got to take our police back and say, hey, who do you guys work for? Pretty sure they work for us. They work for the queen. They work for the crown. They're not going to change sides oh. unless you pay them. Well, well, yeah. We could hire them. It depends. it depends who you're talking about. The Vancouver police work for Vancouver. Uh, I guess any of them. These guys, I think, were RCMP. Maybe they're cops. RCMP is, is definitely works for the crown, yeah. That's different. They're motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Okay, so...